More than 300 sailors set off this morning on the USS Ramage. Loved ones watched as the guided missile destroyer left Naval Station Norfolk. 13 News Now reporter Megan Pruyer gives us a closer look at what the destroyer is capable of. Today on the dock, hands reached for one another and tears fell as film captured emotional moments. USS Ramage reminding each person their loved one would soon drift away. Uh, I'm sad but excited for them. It's uh, fun watching them kind of grow up and, and, uh, and do great things. It's her son's first deployment, but this marks 30 years of farewells for Cindy Bullman. We're very proud. Uh, we have a military family, so it's wonderful uh, having him uh, follow the tradition. Clint Bullman says his son trained for nearly two years. You know, he's got our support and, you know, we feel very confident that the ship has trained him well. I cannot tell you how proud I am of this crew. The the effort they put into. Uh, I've had the distinct privilege of being with them the entire time. Commanding Officer John Binfield says the team of 300 sailors is ready for whatever comes its way. I can personally attest to the efforts they put in on a daily basis to make sure that we are really ready to go and execute whatever missions we may have to. And Commander Binfield says the sailors have to be prepared to man this ship. It is capable of a wide array of mission sets, including ballistic missile defense, and we can employ those wherever the Navy would need us to go. But it's a ship Kia Ricks is proud to see her son on. Well, I'm just very blessed and very thankful that he has this opportunity. The sailors will be out to sea for six months. He's definitely going to be well truly missed for, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas, but I'm just hoping we can just get through it. So before Ramage took off, Zoe Ricks poured out all her love. I feel sad because my brother's leaving and really, I had no time to give him my goodbye kisses. In Norfolk, Megan Perrier, 13 News Now.